Wisconsin Jeep Eagle dealers, where you can expect the best. Well, it was an important day for conservationists around the country. The 150th birthday of the founder of the environmental movement. John Muir spent many a day in the woods of Marquette County, and as Becky Liscom tells us, his homestead remains an inspirational retreat. All these black locusts that are here, there wasn't any of that here. Them big trees were 71-year-old Irv Schmidt still hikes the trails of John Muir's homestead. They share many bonds. Irv grew up in the shadow of the father of conservation. From the time I was 13 years old, I used to prowl around the woods and, and uh, hunt and so on. And, uh, well, I just enjoyed the, uh, the wild part of it. I, maybe I was like John Muir, I don't know. <laughs> The serenity and beauty of this Marquette County area is believed to have inspired Muir to crusade for land preservation and start the National Parks Movement. He said if people could get into the woods and hear the trees speak for themselves, all the difficulties in the way of forest preservation would vanish. We can be proud of his association with Wisconsin. I think he was a, a kind of a seminal influence in the development of what we call now environmentalism. So I think he's a, I think he's a very important character and a, a memory and a set of ideas that we should try and keep alive. I like nature. I like to watch the birds and the, the animals. And when I come out here, it's like coming back home. <laughs> Folks all across the country benefit from Muir's legacy of the land, but for Irv Schmitz, nothing could be finer than to continue his walk in the woods, for he knows this very land is why Muir pressed on to preserve this country's natural beauty. Becky Lisk on New Scene 15, Marquette County. Brewers win again. At the expense of the poor old Orioles. The poor old Orioles are going to Kansas City.